Oh, hey there guys, uh, welcome to the channel. I know it's been a, about a week since my uh, last video and I uh, thought I'd uh, share something uh, pretty cool with you guys. I just uh, finished working on this uh, car over the last uh, few days and um, quite pleased how it actually turned out. Um, so this is actually uh, a fully sculpted uh, armored car. Uh, what I decided to do was uh, try using some uh, air dry uh, clay that uh, I picked up from um, one of the uh, local craft stores and uh, just yeah I just wanted to see what uh, what it would look like if I started using that for uh, building armor and um, this is basically uh, well this is basically what I came out with so um, yeah maybe perhaps if you're interested uh, take a look at the build video and um, yeah and hopefully you enjoy it thanks a lot And uh, here is the uh, modeling clay that I picked up from the uh, local craft store. I picked this up actually at uh, Michael's. Uh, you should be able to buy this uh, online or even something very similar to uh, what I've used here. I also recommend uh, picking up a roller. Uh, this is a non-stick, uh, basically an acrylic uh, roller that uh, you can use for uh, kind of smoothing out your clay pieces. And uh, I used uh, wax paper actually in the background here to, uh, to prevent it from sticking to, to the table. Uh, so here I'm using a little bit of crazy glue to um, just provide a little extra um, adhesion for the uh, for the clay. I figured I once it dried, it actually might just like come off. And in fact, I actually it did do that. Um, there was a panel that actually did kind of come off, so I had to kind of glue it. Um, I also use a pencil to do the rivets, but I, I think next time I'll use something a little smaller, perhaps like uh, the end of a, a of like like a pin or. A, even a paperclip actually would work uh, really well as well. And um, you know, for the armor pieces, I, sometimes I use the, uh, these, these cardboard um, inserts that, I can, <laughs> that come in with um, Transformers, the uh, collectible card game. I usually keep all the pieces of cardboard that come in the package and I just use the bits on, uh, on build building models.
So with the uh, with the pieces of uh, clay, um, you know, the idea was I, I wanted to just keep layering it up. So each each time I put a, a piece of armor on, I detailed it out, and then I put another one on top of that. So I just kind of went around the car, uh, just simply adding uh, rectangular pieces of, of metal, or clay in this case, but they're going to be metal. Now it's time for some uh, mesh screening to go in the uh, the windshield and also the uh, the rear uh, glass as well. Um, it's getting a, it was getting a little dark outside, so I'm just kind of that's why the lighting's a, a little bit uh, darker. But um, I was starting to lose a little bit of my uh, my sunlight in the backyard. So I shot the car with a, a black primer and then I did another um, more of like a red oxide on, on the top as well. And uh, I figured because I figured all the panels would be just kind of dry brushed. As you can see, this one panel on the, on the uh, driver's side of the car is a little loose, but uh, I just put a little, took it out, put a little crazy glue underneath and uh, put it back and it was uh, completely fine. So um, yeah, and this is how, how it looks uh, so far. Um, I always like to do like a little test fit, just to kind of see how things are things are going in general, and um, and then at this point, what I wanted to do was I took my uh, my trusty uh, blush brush and uh, took some a little bit of the silver uh, metal paint and uh, yeah, just start uh, dry brushing the whole uh, vehicle, everything all together um, in one shot.
And here I was starting to uh, paint the car um, with the uh, Tamiya uh, orange that I've got, but uh, this stuff is actually really good on um, clear plastic. It's not really quite the same as using the, the acrylic. So I did put it like a little bit on the car, but I ended up not really liking it. So I will um, actually switch over to um, just my regular um, orange paint. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm doing a combination of dry brushing and then just kind of highlighting a few uh, key areas, just kind of going over and over um, each of the panels of the, of the car itself, the ones that were never, um, you know, covered in armor. And uh, I was quite pleased with the way it was looking. So uh, yeah, I just kind of kept up with that pattern and um, well, I'm sure it was going to look uh, pretty, pretty nice in the end. Um, now I started to actually detail out all the bumpers with uh, just a fine tip uh, brush and uh, using the same uh, silver, silver paint that I used to uh, dry brush the entire vehicle.
And uh, here I thought it would look uh, pretty nice if I actually painted uh, all the bumpers like underneath as well, like the, the proper body color. So that's what I'm doing here. So just doing a little bit of a test fit and uh, what I what I thought was um, my side pipes, it needed a little bit more of a contrast. So I uh, decided to use my paint marker and um, just kind of go over the all the pipes and the exhaust system itself with uh, with this uh, silver marker. Just kind of smooth out all the, uh, the previous paint job that I had done. For the rear bumper, I actually like the fact that there was already sort of a, a bit of a gouge in it, so it kind of kind of looked pretty cool once I was getting it all highlighted. It, it looked like actual, uh, you know, damage on the vehicle. And uh, yeah, just kind of testing things out to see how everything's looking uh, together now. And um, I think it's uh, turning out uh, pretty pretty good at this stage. Um, I got to do something with the back and possibly uh, fix up the wheels as well. I was actually contemplating making one wheel a different color from, from the rest of the car, or rest of the, the, uh, the wheels, but um, you'll, as you'll see in a second or so, um, I, kinda, I kinda came up with a new idea. Uh, I thought I wanted to actually paint the uh, headlights, so the first thing I did was um, do like a base coat of blue, and then what I was planning on doing was trying to just highlight it with a little bit of white, um, but uh, in the meantime, I'm going to paint the rear uh, taillights uh, with a red paint marker. I just like using um, this for, you know, for a particular reason. I mean, I could use a brush, but it's just, it is actually just a lot faster. So this is actually something I just kind of did uh, by fluke. And uh, what I was doing was I was just going around the uh, taillights uh, with um, like a mechanical pencil and just kind of cleaning up any of the uh, marker that kind of got over the edges a little bit. But what I had noticed it is it was actually creating a black uh, back panel that was sort of metallic and I thought it looked really cool. So I kept doing that and uh, had interesting results. Um, and then now I decided that I was going to um, just just kind of go around the edge um, of each of the the, the, the wheels. And uh, as I was doing that, it was just kind of creating this um, sort of these like little, I don't know, spikes or uh, I don't know, kind of like a triangular pattern. And uh, I kind of liked it. So I just kept doing it on all the wheels. So I felt my mesh uh, needed a little bit of uh, metal in it. So I, I got a little bit of the uh, silver paint and just kind of went over uh, the front uh, mesh as well as the back. And then um, my, my, my uh, German machine gun, um, it was looking a little too metallic and uh, it was still, you know, the dry brush colored. So I decided to uh, use a black, um, use the black paint marker and uh, just kind of go over it. Um, and, it left some of the details. It left some of the um, the metal, like the wear on it. Um, it, it. It ended up looking a little worn, so it was still pretty neat. And uh, but I, you know, I thought it should look a little different from the vehicle itself. And then uh, I just took my silver uh, paint marker and just kind of went over the edges of the uh, pieces of cardboard to make them look, look a little more sharper than the rest of the vehicle. And then uh, real real fun part. Um, I thought the car could use a little bit of grime and. Uh, 
kind of tone down the uh, the overall brightness of the uh, the side exhaust. So what I decided to use was a little bit of uh, makeup and uh, just kind of put a little bit of grease or uh, you know grime in general all over the side of the vehicle, just kind of like from the uh, the exhaust uh, toward the back. Then I took uh, uh, some lighter colors and I started to cake it on the uh, the rear uh, piece of mesh. I wanted to look, make it look a little rusty. I, I was gonna actually use uh, dry pastels uh, for this, but uh, I was actually kind of comfortable and I didn't really feel like moving. So I just used uh, what I had and uh, decided to use the uh, the lighter colors to put some dust all on the top portion of the, of the car, like around the sides. Um, you know, as if it's been driving around, um, you know, picking up dirt. I was actually going to gl um, glue dirt right to it. I was actually going to get some white uh, glue and actually do that originally. But uh, I decided uh, to do it this way. And uh, I'll leave that for like a, another time. But uh, I thought this actually turned out uh, pretty cool as well. Plus, I was actually uh, kind of talking to a family member at the same time. And uh, they were kind of watching what I was doing. So I, I couldn't really... Uh, change my plan. So anyways, um, and then uh, the interior itself, I, uh, while I was doing a lot of the extra work um, on the outside, I spray painted the uh, the interior red and I uh, felt that it yeah, needed something. So I just kind of painted it up and, uh, you know, it looked, it looked pretty cool and uh, love to show you what I had done uh, by detailing it out. So I'm moving back to the uh, the headlights. Um, I had this uh, white uh, marker and I thought it would work. I thought it would actually get in there and uh, it, it kind of did what I wanted at first, like at least on the uh, on the right side. But once I got to the left side, I started kind of kind of messing it up a, a little bit. So I ended up just kind of scrapping this idea and uh, just kind of touched it up with um, uh, my silver uh, paint marker. And, uh, and then also went over with this like very fine tip uh, blue, just kind of go around the edges. So there's a, still a little bit of a little bit of whiteness in there, but not, not quite as much. So as you can see here, I'm just cleaning up the, uh, the white that I ended up uh, getting on the bumpers. Yeah, and then uh, for the interior, I just started to uh, to uh, use some red marker just to detail like uh, the steering wheel, uh, just some edges of the seats, and uh, just whenever I can see that was um, you know kind of easy to get at with the uh, with both actually the silver um, marker as well as the red. Uh, with the silver, I actually highlighted the uh, uh, the stick shifter, uh, the NOS tanks that were actually in the back, as well as the uh, the tacks, the three tacks in the in the front of the dash, and uh, yeah, this is the uh, final re result of the whole whole project. Um, I thought it was uh, well, certainly it was a lot of fun uh, to do do something like this. It was actually kind of simple, really. I mean, just adding a machine gun and then just doing the sculpted um, armor with the clay and uh, doing a lot of great deal of dry brushing on it. It it, it turned out to be. Uh, um, you know, pretty fun. So this is the uh, final result of the uh, the interior itself. As you can see, it's got, uh, you know, I just kind of added some silver to the uh, NOS tanks and um, kind of highlighted the, the interior with uh, just the red marker and the silver one as well. The, uh, the base is uh, fully detailed. Um, it's got, um, you know, the, uh, I guess the body panel underneath are all painted orange just like the uh, the car itself and um, the exhaust system, everything is, it's not bad. I mean, I could have done a little bit better on, um, on the one side, but uh, it's pretty good in general. And uh, I never actually painted the uh, tires black. I just kind of left them the way they were. Uh, the original sort of um, metallic primer that I had used 
just figured I'd just leave them kind of dirty like that. And uh, yeah, the rest of the, the actual body itself um, turned out to be uh, pretty, pretty cool. So I'm going to be using this uh, stuff uh, more often now. Um, <laughs> I've got a giant bar of it, so I should uh, use it. It was about 12 bucks. And uh, yeah, I want to definitely get uh, the use out of it. Actually, it was $12 for the clay and then another about 12 bucks for the, uh, the roller itself. So I definitely will be um, uh, making use of of that material um, but yeah the car looks uh, great and uh, once everything's together and uh, hope you guys liked how the uh, the wheels turned out I think they look pretty cool and uh, yeah you can see the uh, the red um, part of the dash you can kind of see that coming through right there um, I thought that was pretty neat you know so add some extra detail you know if you can uh, it's always always good to do so Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys uh, like this uh, build. You know, please let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you think. If there's uh, some other cars that I should be trying to work on, um, you know, try to always improve and just try to do different things. So um, you know, hopefully you like uh, what you see, and if the, the things you see are actually imaginative or not, uh, feel <laughs> feel free to let me know in the comments down below. So uh, hopefully you're having a great day, and uh, thanks a lot for stopping by.